Times of great difficulty, difficulty, and we are living through them as a nation and as a community. Even in those times, it is even more important that we strive every day, and it is not lost on me the importance of seeking and attaining common ground. It is elusive, but it is not impossible uh, to reach and achieve if we simply set aside our differences focus on those areas we agree, and respect one another. We can achieve great success and achieve and secure that, that common ground. I am absolutely aware that it is possible because I have seen it in every level of government and every day I've, I've served. I was reminded um, of a, a, a comment uh, that uh, then President Harry Truman offered, and it was uh, repeated by President Ronald Reagan and, and, and many others. We can, to paraphrase, we can achieve just about anything if we do not care about taking credit. If we don't care about taking credit. Now I recognize, uh, I was just in uh, Binghamton where I guess I, this is maybe the 19th time now I've taken this other of office, I just took one two hours ago. Uh, in Binghamton, this is a broad district, 11 counties large. I affectionately suggest it is where upstate meets downstate, but from the Hudson River and Catskills to the southern tier in central New York, it is a beautiful, a beautiful place. Uh, and it is wide, and it is open, and it is diverse. Uh, and what I would offer to you is, is what I offer to them. I will never forget where I began. I am truly a son of the Hudson Valley, but it is my job as the representative of this district to be a voice for upstate New York in the House of Representatives, and that is my commitment be a champion for all the people who live, work, and raise their family here, to work with anyone who is honest and earnest about solving problems. And for those of you who want me to shout and jump and set, on, set things on fire, that's not how we function. My goal, my hope, my desire is to bring people together to confront the challenges that face us. Everything from affordable housing and lack of access to daycare to quality education and new jobs, from public safety and security uh, here in our nation to ensuring that everybody, regardless of ability, has the support and the opportunity to achieve the success that they wish for themselves. We together can confront substance use disorder and the public health crisis of our lifetime. We can, we can help people who struggle with mental illness, and let me say very proudly and clearly, we will speak up for those too often overlooked, those men, women, and children, regardless of the ability that we perceive they have, we will show America what it means to think differently and ensure everyone of every ability has their voice heard and their opportunity to succeed. And that is a commitment I make to you today.